All right, people. Welcome back. Part two of the March question mark final band list talk. So the first part went pretty well. Uh, you no, know, I was hoping, or not hoping. I was expecting a lot of dislikes that people weren't going to agree with what I was thinking. Uh, that uh, you know, some people would be going to be a little bit ignorant. I'm not going to say just a little bit ignorant. And uh, you know, there was going to be a lot of disputes. But no, no, no. There's not a lot of comments. Not a lot of disputes. Uh, like I said, in the comment section below this video, if you're too lazy, and I don't, and this is kind of more of a lazy thing, and I understand, uh, if you have absolutely no idea whether a card that I'm going to be talking about is on the list or not, just comment it, you know, even if you think it may be on there, you may not think it on there, comment in the comment section below, and I will go ahead and reply and be like, got it, or, alright, I'm going to put it on the list, you know, because, I, I, I know, I understand, you don't want to go back to that video and search through all them comments when I literally just have a list of the cards right here. All I have to do is you just say a card, you know, whether it be, you know, oh, talk about Monster Reborn. And I could just go down the list and be like, all right, it's already on the list. I will talk about, I will talk about it or let me put it on the list. Simple as that. So let's go ahead and jump into part two of three. And uh, I don't think there's going to be a part four. There shouldn't be. Even if part three is extra, super long, uh, you know. Let's go ahead and jump into part two now. So the video won't be so overly long. I'm shooting for like maybe 20, 25 minutes. So starting it off, the first card, Monkey Board. All right, you you guys know about Monkey Board. Monkey Board is literally a one card pendulum scale. Uh, and, uh, you know, you just play it. And as soon as you play it, you get to go ahead and search for a level four performer pal. And generally, you're going to go ahead and search for the other half of the scale and just get right back into the duel. Uh, it's it's part of the trio. It's part of the performer pal trio. It's uh, it's. Uh, Skull Crow by Joker, Sorcerer, and Monkey Boy. Those three. Now, you may have, you know, Guitar Turtle and then this the snake that lets you draw a card. No, it's those three. Because you're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, summon your Skull Crow by Joker on Monkey Board, summon your Skull Crow by Joker, get your Skull Crow by Joker. Skull Crow is just going to search your Sorcerer, put your Sorcerer's Friend and Skill. Then you summon, Sorcerer is going to pop two, then search two, and you can search for Skull Crow by Joker and Monkey Board, and then rinse and repeat, and plus and plus, and get in your cards, and plus and plus. So, yeah, it, it's those three. Uh, uh, I think that if you just take out maybe one of the parts of the engine, that it will be okay. And uh, the one that I think will probably get hit is Skull Crow by Joker because it's a double hit. And you know Konami loves to do those double hits. The, the, you know, let me look at Rota. <laughs> it's just like, hmm, well, Teller Knights used Rota and Necros used Rota for shit. Rota hit, <laughs> you know. So that that's a double hit, you know. If... And keep in mind, you know, everybody is thinking like, oh, well, you know, PP is the best deck. You only hit PP. PP is the best. You guys forget, you know, previous things before the format change. You go, what? You guys forget about Cosmos, which I don't think they're going to hit. That's a GGG exclusive deck they're making money off. But do you guys forget about the freaking, uh, the Mesh Magicians? Yeah, you forgot about them, didn't you? Because Magicians, yeah, they definitely deserve hit. If they ain't PP, it's Magicians. Uh, it's just an engine, really. You can clean up that engine a little bit. What's a double hit for both the PP and the Magicians? Skull Crow Bat Joker. Yep, because he, he searches it all. You know, uh, they, that generally don't use our normal summon, but they will use that normal summon for that Skull Crow Bat Joker. People even argue that some cards aren't good because they, use, they have to use your normal summon, and they're like, oh, but I want a normal summon that Skull Crow Bat Joker, because I always have Skull Crow Bat Joker. With the high consistency of Monkey Board and, you know, Pendo summoning that wizard, yeah, you probably will always have monkey, uh, Skull Crow Bat Joker. So let's go ahead and lower that consistent one. Slap that looping a little bit. So I don't think Monkey Board will get hit. You know, now, you know, maybe in the future, uh, but we'll, I think Konami will go ahead and see, we'll go ahead and hit Skull Crab or Joker, which will affect both sides of the of the, the top two decks, so, you know, arguably the top two decks before Marks and all that come out, and they're not going to just Marks, uh, and see what's up with that, so, uh, he said, Monkey, I mean, Skull Crab Joker, alright, moving on, Exiton, nah, uh, I, I saw a video about Mega Capital G talking about this, and, uh, you know, like, everybody's like, oh, Exiton can come back, Mega Capital G said so, and, you know, he brings up a good point that, you know, Exiton can come back because, you know, we need the hate, nah, nah, uh, yeah, it, one, it, it wasn't even, like, a, a jump decision, you know, you, you know that, you know, you know, Konami's had their eye on Exiton for a cool minute now, and, uh, you know, it, you can't even say that it, it was time for it to go, there was a couple of hate on it, but, uh, it, it was a curveball. It came out of nowhere, and it, was, it wasn't even like really discussed, like kind of like what Lalo chain in the community and stuff like that. Can I just wanted to ban Exiton, and Exiton shall got banned, and it's not surprising that they did. I mean, I get it. You're down on resource. You get to wipe the entire field. Um, uh, maybe, possibly in the upcoming future, but not now. It, it's it's too early, you know. Uh, there's never been ever a time where Konami has banned a card and then immediately the next list turned around and unbanned it. And I'm talking about bands. I mean, there may be like hits where they like hit something and then maybe brought it back. 
but never ban a card three to zero and then been like oh we were wrong here you go have the card back immediately no it might be maybe the format after next or the format or way or maybe never you know I, it's really too early to tell what uh, how konami feels about exiton because the hit for exiton came out of nowhere and uh it's just too early to go back on that hit for konami so yeah and if you disagree with me all right but nah don't be surprised if exiton's not back it, don't be surprised if he stays banned for it you know, at least two or three or forever. Yeah. Anyway, moving on, we have Wizemine. Yeah, that's a good hit. Uh, not to one, not to one. No, one, I you know, especially with me saying Skullcrow bad Joker, holy crap, you know, that engine's pretty much done. Uh, let's try two. It wouldn't be the surprise, uh, uh, it wouldn't be the first time that Konami went ahead and, you know, saw what OCG did, they hit the card down to one. We'll try two, you know. Uh, we, we did the same thing with, uh, Necro's Brownie. They hit it down to one, and what, like, two? Okay, one. So, uh, you know, with Skull Card by Joker going down to one, definitely 1800 Searcher, you know, for both archetypes. That That's a one, definitely. With Wisdom Eye, that's only uh, Pendulum Magicians. And, I mean, there's not a lot of finger, too many fingers you can point at, you know. It's like, oh, yeah, well, we, we got to go after, you know, oh, no, we got to go after, you know, Dragon Pit. It's like, no, 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 it's Wisdom Eye. And uh, with, uh, with um, Skull Card by Joker at one, it wasn't my at two. You can see it'll be lower to lower, but you're not dead. The engine's not dead. The deck's not dead. So I think that's a good try. So go ahead and put it down to two. See what it, what it does. If it's if you if you see it, but you don't see it too much, and you're like, all right, this is good. Like uh, what Prami will probably think after that. Leave it there. Leave it there. <laughs> you know, you know, it still be an engine that's just low and consistent with only one Skull Card by Joker and two wisdom life. Yeah, does does the mind deserve to be limited? Not necessarily. I mean, LCG, you know. When they want something gone, and they want something gone, and they win. Wisdom Eye to one, and we really haven't seen nothing about the, the Magician engine uh, much ever since. I mean, of course, it's hard hard to do that when it's just, you know, uh, you know Draco, PP, and all that shit. But, you know, even when that wasn't the, around, and uh, Wisdom Eye got hit, and you just didn't see the Magician, they just kind of just vanished. Just poof, they're gone. Yeah, you know, like magic. <laughs> so, yeah, I think Skull Crow back to one, Wisdom Eye to two would be a fair and uh, appropriate hit for Konami to do for that whole uh, archetype magicians. Uh, so, uh, moving on, we have Demonk. Demonk on Zerada. He got reprinted. Why not? He'll probably get limited. And then probably slowly move off the list. Limited, semi-limited, unlimited. Because no one's going to play Demonk like that. You know, Spellbucks don't play him. Um, you might see him in Infernoids, but, I mean, who cares about Infernoids, you know? We haven't really seen Infernoids do much ever since the, the, the meta shift of this new list. So, yeah. So, Demok will go. Demok's probably going to come out. Still haven't seen much from Chaos Emperor, but we'll get to him. All right. Moving on. MST. I saw someone. I'm not going to specify who, but I saw someone come in and said, Hit MST to promote Twin Twister. You don't have to do that. <laughs> you know, Twin Twister doesn't need any help being promoted. It's the most expensive uh, super rare in the set of Bosch. Uh, and it's a, it's a pretty sought-out card. I mean, you pick up a box and you, you get your play set of, uh, of Twin Tristers. I mean, let's go, you know? Uh, no, no. You don't have to hit MST to promote Twin Tristers. That, that, sounds, that sounds a little bit idiotic to the point. I mean, there's, there's a line that, that, that can't be crossed. I want to say idiotic, but there's a line that must be that can't be crossed. It's not like, you know, there's hits to do to promote to get money, and then there's just idiotic hits where it's just like, you know what? Let's just make all the money. That's like, that's like taking out every single Tier 2 deck. Just say you are forced to play a tier one deck just to come out and make money. Like, they're not going to take that shame. So no, they're not going to hit MST. They're not going to. They're not going to hit Twin Twister, uh, and everything will be fine. You know, uh, like I said there's not too much problem with background. I mean, you got to you got to claim that strike. That that's not that's not a profit hit. That that's a that's a that's a uh, game addressing hit. You know, there, there, there's a line to be drawn with. You know, oh, oh we definitely want to make money and uh, and uh, yeah, you know. Slow the game down, and keep in mind this is TCG. Slower game, you know. Like, well, oh, you didn't hit. They're a way faster game, you know. Because if, if you want to look in that spec, they had three triple bottomless, triple torrental. You know, they, you know, no, they're way faster game. You know, they're way more lenient here. You know, as soon as uh, was it September September 2013? Right, like, this the one, this the one, this the one, this the one, this the one. I mean, like I said, strike. You cannot look me in my eyes and say that Capulse should stay at one, Book of Moon should stay at one. It fucking bottomless should stay at one, but strike should be at three. Exactly. So no, no, strike will probably go down to one just for just for a game fixing thing. That has nothing to do with profit. So yeah, so yeah, you don't have to hit Twin Twister. You don't have to hit MST. Uh, they're fine. 
Alright, so moving on. Rescue Rabbit. This is this is the interesting one. This is an interesting one. Uh Rescue Rabbit. You know, Rescue Rabbit has been at one for a cool minute now, at least at least I want to say four years. Uh and uh it hasn't moved since. Generally when people say Rescue Rabbit or talk about Rescue Rabbit, I'm like, no, no, fuck Rescue Rabbit, fuck Dino Rabbit, fuck all that. Are you ready? <coughs> Rescue Rabbit is two? Yes. Yes. Uh and the reason for this is one. Um, Konami's clearly getting a glimpse of how uh, bad these lockdown esque monsters are uh, with Infinity. They, they're getting a view with Infinity, and while it's bad, it's not too bad. So they're like, "Oh, but if we can play a game with Infinity in the game, why not log you?" So they might go ahead and be a little bit lenient with Ra Rabbit too. It's it's been on there for a while, and we have precedence. CG has three. All right, so ooh, we got precedence too. Then let's move on. There's profit for them. There's actually profit. For them. Of course, you know the the, the Draco Slayer deck has a nice handful of, of normal monsters that they play. That's the next big pendulum based deck, and there's gonna be some rabbit action. They can even see the decks in OCG triple rabbit. You know, so that would be a great way. So it literally checks off for all three things. It's not too bad anymore. It has precedence, and uh, and there's profit to be earned. So don't be surprised if Rabbit actually moves up to two and possibly three on these next upcoming lists. Because, yeah, I mean, fuck it. If you want the Dino Rabbit, more power to you. I mean, you know it's slow as hell compared to, you know, the, the shenanigans that uh, decks can pull up nowadays. So if you want to go ahead and use that almost summon and make a log here, eh, no. So let's see, let's see. So they'll probably go ahead and put Rabbit up to two. And you can go ahead and play your old ass Dino Rabbit from 2012. Let's see if it can keep up with the, you know the decks of 2016. But yeah, yeah, I would not be surprised if Rescue Rabbit moves up to two. Uh, moving on, Charlie Light Brigade probably moving back up to three. Probably not. Uh, they could have done it a long time ago. They just didn't, and it seems like they're pretty comfortable with what with uh, where things are at when it comes to that. You know, uh, there's been list on list on list where Charge could have probably moved up to three and just didn't. So. Uh, this seems like Konami's safe with that. Unless they want to throw a curveball, I'm not going to predict it, though. Uh, Alright, moving on. Gateway. No? Like, we gave you three Shien. Like, what do you want? Like, you, well, no, we're not crazy like OCG. OCG's way faster game. No, 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 no. Uh, why? So you can just go Gateway and drop triple Shien? Oh, yeah, that's great. Or Shien and Beast. Like, yeah, that's totally what we need. You know, it's already bad enough that, we, you know, people are putting fingers at Beast because, you know, it stops pendulums and all of that and that dispute. Yeah, let's go ahead and up six samurai so they can drop the beast the barky him on there and then triple Shien on your ass. Like, no, no. You already have triple Shien. The deck is fine. Uh, you got hit a little bit because Rado went back down to one. That's fine. But, you know, no, no, no gateway. It's one of them Saki cards and Konami doesn't like that shit, you know. So gateway will probably stay banned in TCG for pretty much forever. Pretty much forever. <laughs> And speaking of another Saki card that should never come back, let's go ahead and tackle this public judgment. I know the person who commented was kind of like uh, speaking, you know, ironically, but still, you put it on there, I'm going to talk about it. No. Uh, one of the arguments is like, well, you know, PP is the best deck, you know, so, you know, we should bring cards back to the, the I, I hate that. That's one of the worst arguments, and I swear to God, I hate those arguments. That because the top deck is so good, we need to bring shit back from the, the past to, to combat the, the, the top deck. Then what's the fucking point of a ban list? <laughs> you know? If that's the case, then we should just unban everything and just have Yu-Gi-Oh! go hog wild just so you can combat PP. No. Spellbook Gentleman is arguably one of the most broken spell cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Allowing spellbooks to go plus six. I mean, think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Because you're like, oh, no, it wouldn't be that bad. Think about it. What spellbooks were before Spellbook Gentleman is exactly what they are now. Even they even have even more cards that lose one turn of shit. Where are they? Yeah, exactly. They have the triple fate. Where are they? Hmm, Okay. Now, we get this public judgment, and and keep in mind, they didn't have spell of good judgment. They were kind of like a tier 2 stack in the format. We get this public judgment, they were able to keep up with arguably the best deck in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragon Rulers. They were the only thing keeping Dragon Rulers from being absolute tier 0. There's You play Dragon Rulers or you don't play Yu-Gi-Oh! at all. The only thing. It was spell books with spell book of judgment and Dragon Rulers. So, yeah, so let me get this straight. We should give them spell book of judgment so they can automatically just jump up to the caliber of freaking. You know, Dragon Rulers. Even one, because you can recycle it, of course. You can just keep recycling it. So, you can't... One is three. It doesn't fucking matter. Just to, com just to combat PP. Yeah, yeah, that's smart. No, 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 no. So, the Dragon should never, ever get unbanned. It should have never been made, let alone get unbanned. So, no. The Dragon should not get unbanned at all. So, 
I know you're kind of speaking ironically, and there's a little bit of bias in your voice. I heard you're like same thing with uh, the underground members. Oh, well, I play spell books, and I think they should get spell book judgment back. That's biased as all hell, but all right. So no. Uh, moving on, Chaos Emperor Dragon. No, I mean he has. And like I said, unless I see an, a confirmed reprint of his erotic form, no, we're not going to just keep on sitting here and be like, oh, Chaos Emperor, has he got his, his erotic reprint yet in TCG? No, but I'm going to keep predicting him. No, 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 so no, no Chaos Emperor. Demok, we have it. We have the card. It's in the freaking Yugi box thing. Where's Chaos Emperor? I haven't seen it. You know, I hear rumors, but, you know, rumors are just rumors. You know, unless, unless I see a definitive here is Cat Emperor. He will be in this set. He is coming out in TCG with his errata. No, there's no point in predicting him. Because then he's like, oh, yeah, well, Chaos Emperor is going to come off the list, but not with his errata. Like, that shit ain't going to happen, so no. And, uh, yeah. And, and like I said, you can kind of tell. TCG kind of just doesn't seem like they want to do Cat Emperor. Could they, could they have room Cat Emperor? Why not? They did all the other cards, but Cat Emperor is still just sitting there. Even with his errata form. Maybe TCG just kind of doesn't like what uh, the errata form is. I don't know. I don't, but, uh, you know, I have all the cards that got eroded and, you know, unhit. Definitely Cast Emperor is still a broken one, but, eh. You know, because I don't even see it on the pro and stuff. Even when people could play it when I'm doing OCG TCG, but I guess I'm playing on TCG list, so I guess people can't play it, but, yeah, You don't see too many Cast Dragon decks. Maybe we'll promote it, but no. So, nope. Until I see that confirmed reprint, not going to say Cast Emperor. Moving on, Dark Hole. No. Dark Destruction is actually good. And it really is. <laughs> it actually turns. It goes up and down and up and down. And it's just like, wait, destruction good, destruction bad, destruction good, destruction bad. Destruction's good right now at baiting. You know, uh, you know, dark holding that uh, that monarch because uh, they didn't play their their uh, march or dark, uh, baiting that infinity, then going off with their plays. Like, like dark holding's actually pretty good. They're gonna go ahead and patolomize and drop that a uh, first turn Pleiades come time because they like it. Dark hole. You're gonna go ahead and summon that that uh, Rafisha and you know try to trap all you. Dark hole. So destruction's actually pretty good. Uh, and, and there, there's been ups and downs with Dark Holes. There's been points where Dark Hole has been absolutely just, no, don't play Dark Hole. And it, never, and it still didn't move up to three. So, no, they're not going to move Dark Hole up to three. It seems like they're happy with it. One Regeki, two Dark Holes. And, you know, I would love for just Regeki to be banned and you have three Dark Holes, but they're not going to do that. So, there's no point even saying it. So, yeah, Dark Holes probably going to just stay at two for pretty much the rest of TCG. Right? It seems like they're happy with that. Moving on, Monster Gate. It's another one of them cards where it seems like they could move it, but they just don't want to. Uh, you know, when the Florence would hype, they could have moved it. We always have preference, but it just seems like Konami just doesn't want to move it. So they'll, they'll probably just stay at one. If it moves, then okay, cool. You know, I'd be surprised. Uh, can it move? Probably. Uh, no one's really playing Inferno. No one's really going to use it. It's not like the Cosmos are going to use it. Definitely not. So could it move? Yeah. Will it move? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to predict it. If Konami does it, I'll just leave it to a, a, a surprise. I'm not going to go ahead and predict it and get that prediction wrong just because I'm just like, oh, well, I guess, you know, Konami doesn't want to move Monster Gate. That's what they want to do. Fine, whatever. Who cares? I mean, really, who cares? You know, if you're an Inferno player, sorry, but who cares? Anyway, moving on. Uh, Necro's a unicorn. No, 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 no. There's going to be a cool, a cool minute, you know, ice cold cool minute before anything in Necro's gets moved. They just hit it. No. No. Yeah. It was arguably, you know, a tier one top top tier deck that's getting those cards back immediately after getting hit in the previous list. No. 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 And that probably goes for every single card on this on the November list. You know, any major decks, no, they'll probably just go ahead and keep them. You know, but at least for a couple of them. Uh, and then probably cards will graduate their the cards back. They'll, they'll probably be like Kenaha coming back, and then maybe Stahl's getting a couple of their cards back, but not for a while. Like, they just gotten hit. Like, you and you already want to give them the cards back. So, Unicorn's going to stay at one. Next card, Preparation Rise. Preparation Rise probably going to stay at one. You know, despite uh, Necro's being gone, it's probably going to stay at one. Map Position's going to stay at one. Scout's going to stay at one. I'm, I'm, bla I'm blazing through these cards now, because it's really the same uh, conversation about every single one. Scout's going to stay at one. Ulti Hammer card's probably going to stay at one. Uh, and, uh, let me see, are there any other cards? that There's just a ton on this part. Uh, Graph's going to stay at one. Rotor's from is going to stay at 1. Deneb's probably going to stay at 3. So, uh, uh, Teller's not going to get it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, Shadow Fusion's probably going to stay at 1. Construct's going to stay banned. And uh, there we go. I just handled a nice chunk of part 2 just by saying all that. Because there's a lot of suggested cards from the decks in the previous format getting all their shit back in one freaking list. No. <laughs> no. So, let's go ahead and just a couple of these cards. We just blazed through a lot of them, though. That's good. 
uh, Moral Talk 2 or 3. I've been seeing a lot of people talking about this. Like, oh, well, you know, Marks are great because they, they, they disrupt the, the pendulum mechanic and do all of that. No. No. Y'all y'all think that fucking the, the artifact engine ain't shit. The artifact engine is the shit. It is the shit. Don't, don't underestimate the freaking artifact engine. Alright? Just look at a couple of duels with the artifact engine. Just look at freaking Cosmos with the artifact engine. And all they got, we got one morale attack, you know? Triple morale attack, two or three morale attacks, triple size? Oh my god! They're gonna disrupt your place with freaking morale attack. They're gonna ignition you and pop your fucking shit. They're gonna uh, send them and pop your fucking shit with morale attack. They're gonna summon that size and disrupt your place. Like, no. They're gonna be such a disruptive engine that it's not even gonna be funny. Like, morale attack down to one with a great choice that should stay. Like, not even OTG has triple, or double, triple moral attack. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, no. Monarchan, uh, fucking, uh, Artifact Engine stool. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I know people, oh, well, it's a good anti meta card, and? Shit. <laughs> Holy shit. If they brought freaking moral attack back to two or three, I'd be like, alright, I'm done, because that's ridiculous. That freaking Artifact Engine was so fucking disruptive. So disruptive. You know? We still got freaking, we still got freaking, uh, Trap checks, including the Thrifisha, so that's, that engine's still kind of there. Uh, hands aren't that great right now, they're a little bit too slow, so they're probably going to be hands, but we sure got the, you know, the form engine. And then fucking artifacts too? So perform a pal, artifact, trap tricks, Pat? No, this is Patrick! No. No. You know? And Cosmos with artifacts? Oh, just give them a reason, you know? They'll fucking just please you, and it'll, it'll literally just be, Cosmo? With triple mob attack would just turn into a more aggressive new version of hat. Just hitting you with floaty ass plays, cause the you know artifacts are I mean the, the cosmos are kinda like the the hands and shit like that. The 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 artifacts are there. Uh you know, they really they're disruptive play trap plays, they're their their cosmo drills and their their uh their strikes, they, they will literally the cosmos, an aggressive ass deck will literally turn into a control deck just because of the artifact engine. Like no thank you. Uh Thunder King. Oh, Thunder King's ridiculous. Thunder King's arguably one of the best little four monsters in all of you and rightfully so at one. Like I said, you know, you keep on doing precedence to OCG, but they're a much faster game. Like, oh my god, think about it. Just some monarch. Uh, monarch. Don't, no, he is a monarch. Uh, <laughs> not a monarch, it's car, but he is a monarch. He is a king. Uh, summon the 1900 beater, Thunder King Ryle. Against, against PP. You can't search, so. You're not really doing much with that, uh, the score curve at Joker. You're not really doing much with that, uh, with that uh, uh, monkey board. Sure, you can go ahead and pendulum summon your sorcerer, pop two cards, you're not gonna get your search. Oh, too bad you can't run on my Thunder King with your uh with your Scott Curtis Joker, he's only eighteen. Oh, and then as soon as you think that you might want to go ahead and do an inherent summon to get him, I'm just gonna tribute and you're just gonna go ahead and take that neck. Like no 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 Thunder King Thunder King is rightfully at one. No no if hands or buts about it. So no, Thunder King should stay at one. Uh Gus Kraken. No, that's a sacky suit loopy card, so no, that can stay at where it's at. You know, sacky loopy cards, you can clearly tell, you know, un, uh, you know, non-interacting sacky loopy sacky cards that are, can, that can be on Konami's radar? No, they'll stay, you know, uh, and I know, Royal Magical Library, I know, but, let me get, let me get um, tell me, regional YCS doesn't matter. When has, uh, the chicken race FTK, OTK that uh, everyone was so afraid of, when has it ever topped? I'm waiting. Oh, yeah, never. <laughs> exactly. Nah, it's not enough to be on the radar. Is it a sacky card? Hell yeah, it's a card. Should it be hit? Yeah, it should. Will it be hit? Nah. And I think we're actually on the last card. Yeah, we're actually on the last card of uh, part two. Macro three. No. <laughs> uh, 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 macro, vanity, skill drain. These are all cards that disrupt majority. Uh, you know, I know you're like, oh, well, you know, there's other floodgates. You know, you know there's a pair on wall and the other those only hit particular things, and when it comes to hitting particular things, it doesn't seem like Konami might. But macro, uh, 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 dimension, oh, Fisher, vanity, skill drain. Look at look at all the decks, and look at how many decks be a phase if these cards ever went up. I mean, you can just look at OCG and just see decks maining two and three of these. But remember, they're a faster game. This would this would affect the whole. This is this isn't just like oh well, we should bring back macro so we can hurt Cosmos. No, just in play and play on wall and be happy. Like this, this would affect everybody. And can I, when it comes to floodgates, it, it doesn't. Konami doesn't like that. Konami doesn't like floodgates that affect everybody. So yeah, that'll probably go ahead and stay at one for pretty much the rest of TCG. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, there we go. They're done with part two. Like I said, uh, if you're lazy, just go ahead and comment in the comment section down below. Uh, any cards that you think 
will be in part three or might not be, I will go ahead and confirm it. Whether it's like, yeah, that's going to be on there or no, let me go ahead and put that on the list. I will go ahead and confirm with you guys. Any card, we'll get through part three. Balance prediction up on Monday, the 1st of February. And, uh, you know, you guys will see what I think Konami's going to do. So if you guys have any comments or anything that you want to go ahead and discuss in the comment section below, let's discuss it. Let's discuss it. And uh, I'll kind of I'll try to keep it, you know, uh, 100 with you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed part two. I will, of course, be back on Friday with part three, playing the Moonlights on YG Pro because Death Pro is so freaking broken you can't even play on there anymore. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. That's the part. And yeah, see you guys in part three. Thanks for watching.